So let's just talk today about how to save files in Adobe InDesign, because when you go to save it, you're going to get a lot of different choices. You can also export your file into many different choices as well. So I'm going to walk you through all of those today, what your options are and what I would suggest. Hi everyone, I'm Lisa from Pretty Fabulous and I help online businesses create beautiful digital downloads using Adobe InDesign. So if this sounds like you or something you might be interested in, make sure to hit the subscribe button below. I post new videos every Monday and Thursday and I do unboxings on Saturday. Now today we are going to go through a very simple but sometimes overwhelming and a little confusing part of just using Adobe InDesign, which is how to save your file. So I'm going to go ahead and flip the screen around and share my screen with you so you can see exactly what I'm looking at. All right, so I have an InDesign file open here in Adobe InDesign, and you can see that it's called the Monthly Planner. And this is a freebie I give out every month to my Lisa Latte Books readers and writers. It's actually a great idea to send something out on a monthly basis if you know how to use Adobe InDesign as a free printable that your audience can get excited about and look forward to. Um, it doesn't have to be a planner. It can be anything, a checklist or, you know, I think a lot of people send out the desktop background. So, you know, it's just something to keep you front of mind in front of your mailing list. All right. So let's go over here. If you go to file, you're going to see two options, file save and file save as. Now, if I do file save, that's simply going to save since any changes I last made. So over here, if you look at the name of the file, you'll see that there's no asterisk in front of the name of the file in front of October. But if I made a change, so let's say this monthly planner is kind of hard to read. So I'm going to change that text so it's white. Now that I've made a change, you'll see the asterisk is now showing in front of the file name. So that implies to you that a change has been made since the last save. So I could just go to file save and now I don't have to worry if the computer crashes, I lose power, I spill water on the computer, who knows? I know that my changes have been saved. Now file save as is simply just that, just like you use in any other program, Microsoft Word or Excel or anything else. That just means I can do two things. I could rename this, so I could rename this alternate and I could place it in a new folder. Right, so nothing special here about file save as. Over here at the bottom when you see formats, you'll see that you can save this as a document, which is the default. You could do template, I wouldn't do that. Just, I honestly, I would say just ignore that. Um, and then this is for people who need an IDML file, and that's for anyone who has InDesign CS4 or later that is super, super old. Um, but I will, so I would just leave it as InDesign CC 2019 document. Um, and I always leave this checked where it says always save preview images with documents. Now, what does that mean? Save preview images with documents. That simply means this image right here, uh, this donut image that I have, that will be shown as a preview even if someone doesn't have this actual JPEG file. But because I would like to give someone this JPEG file, maybe it's my own file. Remember, if you, you know, just talking about licensing and legality, if you don't have the rights to the fonts and to images, then if you're you're selling an InDesign file, you typically wouldn't provide those um, because you're not a reseller of those items. Now over here, you can see I see the asterisk again. So I could, again, just click save just to save any changes. So you want to make sure the asterisk is gone before you do what I would suggest is you, you want to package all of your files. So over here under file, all the way down at the bottom, you're going to say package. Now, it has a summary and this is these yellow little construction signs or warnings letting you know that there are fonts missing, uh, that there are some links that are maybe uh, incorrect. Um, so you might need to fix those before you package it. Um, but since that's not really the point of this video, doing any troubleshooting, we're going to skip over those. Um, and then here, this is just giving you a synopsis of what's going to be saved. Now, I actually, once you're ready, you'll just say package, not report. And I would leave all of these defaults here as is. So it's going to save this. So we're gonna, I've already packaged this. So I'm gonna just call this two. You can't save two packages just so you know what with the same name. Um, so over here, it says copy the fonts. 
Um, it's going to copy linked graphics, update graphic links in the package. It's going to include that really old file. It's going to create one for you. And it's also going to create a PDF for you as well. Now your PDF, you can change it to these different options if you would like. And just notate that the fonts, it's not going to package Adobe fonts for you because those are available within the application and not available offline to you. So let's go ahead and say package. And it's going to just give you a little warning again that those fonts aren't available. So we'll just say, okay. And it will just have a status bar here. That's just going to go all the way to the end. It's really quick. Unless you have, if I have like a 300 page file, it's, it does take a while, but otherwise it's pretty quick. So let's go into my finder and you'll see here, it created that new folder for us. So let's open it up. So inside of here, we have that original INDD file. It created a PDF for us. It created this older uh, file, the IDML. And over here, all the fonts are in here. So if you sent this to someone, again, if you're not a font reseller, you wouldn't want to sell this to someone. But if you're just sending this to yourself on another computer or working with another designer in your own company and you guys all have access to that, those fonts, that's fine to send. Um, over here, links, these are the actual images that were used inside of that file. So uh, there's my donuts <laughs> that I had. So without these, when before when we saved a file, remember when we did file, um, file save as, and it asked us whether or not we wanted to save preview images. If someone did not have that, file with all of the links that included this donut image, they would see a preview of what the donut looks like, but they wouldn't actually be able to print it or do anything else or change it because it's just a preview. It's not the real file. They'd need to link back to this real um, JPEG file right here. So that's pretty much it. I know that was a long explanation, but just remember the takeaway is file save just saves any changes that you've had since then. File save as, change the name or the location of the file, just the INDD file, that's what these two are. Unless of course you choose IDML or something else that's the extension. And what I always recommend is when you're done to do file package so you have all of your fonts and all of your images for yourself in case you need to refer back to those later. And if you're selling the file, do not include the fonts or the images unless those are your originals or you're a reseller. All right, I hope that was helpful. All right, I hope that was helpful. And remember, if you are just starting out with Adobe InDesign, make sure to sign up for my free course, Adobe InDesign 101. It's five quick lessons and it will walk you through exactly what you need to know to get up and running, mostly with templates. I don't teach like how to set up your workspace and all of that craziness, because I honestly think it's a waste of time. I think sometimes you just want to buy an InDesign template from myself or somebody else and you just want to learn how in the world do I edit this thing? So that's what InDesign 101 is for. It comes complete with a huge workbook. It's actually super valuable. So make sure to sign up if you are even slightly thinking you might like Adobe InDesign or maybe there's a template out there that you purchased a while ago. I know I've done it and it just is sitting there on your hard drive because you're not sure how to edit it. We'll go ahead and fix that inside of InDesign 101.